Good evening, thanks for joining us tonight. Fond du Lac County continues to mourn the loss of a 16 year old boy who lost his life in a vehicle crash this past weekend. Nevin Zock was one of three teenagers who were in the car at the time of that incident. As we reported, the teens were traveling on golf course drive in Techita early Saturday morning when the car went off the road at a high rate of speed and crashed into a tree east of Taft Road. Rescuers responded to the incident around 3.25 a.m. Zock was pronounced dead at the scene while the other two teenagers were transported to the hospital. The Fond du Lac County Sheriff's Office says both speed and alcohol are believed to be contributing factors in this crash. Brittany Schmidt joins us live in the studio to tell us how the teens' high schools are now paying tribute to them tonight. Brittany. Kimmy Bill, tragic news travels fast in a small town, so Laconia High School held a moment of silence from one of their own, Nevin Sock, on Saturday during a girls' basketball game, and tonight they plan to do the same. I talked to the Laconia High School principal this morning. She says Nevins was a new student to the district this year, but he quickly got involved in athletics and joined the football team. She says counselors have been available to students and friends to help with the grieving process. Tonight, the high school has something special planned to remember Nevins and another victim in the crash who was airlifted to a hospital for treatment, Tommy Canings. He is a student at St. Mary's Academy in Fond du Lac. The two high schools actually play each other tonight, but what is typically a big rivalry will be a night of two schools coming together to pay tribute to the teens. I just think it goes um, to show how the students just care for one another. And even though he was not a member of the team, um, we did something similar Saturday night before our girls team uh, had a moment of silence. Um, it's just that they still care about the family and the friends that maybe are on the team that have been impacted as well. I'm told the Laconia basketball team ordered special calf sleeves to wear at tonight's game. There will also be a collection that will be split between the victims' families. Bill, Cammie.